Next morning, Trinocchio woke up in his new shed to being fussed over by his new crew. He felt so important. He had forgotten about poor Geppetto. Geppetto had meanwhile gone back to the house in case Trinocchio had returned when he was out. And he and Puccino had ended up spending the, the night at the house. Trinocchio had not returned, but then... Maybe it's him, Puccino. Oh. Good morning, Catherine. Oh, what are you doing here? Any new on Trinocchio. No, I'm, I'm sorry, si, Senor Topeto. I, I talked to everyone in town that I knew. People and engines. Well, can you tell me who you spoke to? Well, I spoke to Winston and asked him if he'd seen Trinocchio, and he said no. And then I spoke to Elric, and he said no. And then I spoke to Regabi, the engine who hasn't said anything in years. Well, what did he say? Nothing. Well, that settles it. I guess Puccino and I are gonna have to look for him ourselves. Come on, Puccino. Geppetto, wait. I'm coming with you. I want to help. Meanwhile, Lolum was having troubles of his own. His assistant came up to him, looking very serious, holding a newspaper. Eh, you might want to look at this. It's very urgent. Lolum took the newspaper and read on in horror. We have an impostor among us! A flood! He ran to the top of a platform. Oh, Spencer! Come here! Care to explain this? What's all this I'm weeding about, my lad? Being the first A4 to reach 126 miles per hour? Aye, 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 it, it, it must be um, a mistake, sir. I swear. Then Lolum turned the page. There's more on the next page, too. You must really take me for a fool, don't you, Spencer? I will not tolerate a flood in my railway show. He threw the paper down in a childish fashion and ran towards Spencer and gave his buffer a punch. But sir, I'm still fast and I'm still a private engine of the Duke and Duchess of Boxford. I don't care. You're a fraud. You lied to get on my show. You're nothing but a fraud. Now get out before I take my tin can opener to you. I Lolum grunted and stormed out of the station.
in a childish manner.